So back on the Nintendo DS, like 2009, 2008, pretty much I was working on a game similar to what it one working on now, but very different because I was younger, you know, so not as good. And pretty much the New York Times had picked up on it, they had. And I was working on it for Nintendo DS. And instead of asking me, they kind of went directly to Nintendo, or like, are you publishing a game about the Holocaust? And Nintendo was like, no, we're not, because Nintendo doesn't publish the games. You become a developer, then you kind of self-publish on their platforms. So everything kind of exploded then, like over 15 years ago. Well, first, you had the New York Times, and you had those other things pretty much. It was all like, oh, video game about the Holocaust. What the hell is going on kind of thing? So everything just all exploded. Um, there was half pushback on it and half not there was. So some people, some um, outlets in the UK, they were going to Holocaust survivors and being like, what do you think about a video game about the Holocaust? And of course, when you say that, the Holocaust survivor right away is like, what the hell? So I had like Holocaust survivors. Like It was a big shit show. It was, yeah. but it didn't really stop me from wanting to work on it it was my pretty much life happened where i had to work on other games you know because had to make a living and all those things and i was always like i was always pretty much like i refuse for the, this game to be for profit it always has to be free so i kind of waited until up until like two years ago and today in my career and as a director i was kind of really ready to do it because now i'm like 36 so when i was like 34 and that's when I, when I kind of brought back the project pretty much, where actually proper research this time, like it basically took us a whole year just on the research alone. It did like talking to multiple survivors, going through all the Sure Foundation's files pretty much, going through basically files just kind of everywhere because the Holocaust in France is very different. It is right. compared to the rest of Europe. Right. So that's kind of how it got up to kind of this, the point now and the point now is uh well now no one's kind of offended or shocked by it anymore and now I just get support which is kind of like a bit of a size that oh, I wish we had a bit more controversy because you know you get get marketing out of it as controversy but now everyone's kind of accepted it they have like even did a talk in January with the Holocaust Center up in Canada and we also had the German embassy and also someone from the US Holocaust Museum so now it's just become within kind of even like academic circles and museums where it's more like there's a curiosity towards it rather than 15 years ago where it's like you've lost your mind you can never do this